Namaskar, myself Dr. Keshav Chandra Mandal. Very recently, um, on the Rakhi Purnima day, I have been introduced with Akshanandan Shami of Shaminarayan Temple, which is situated nearby Joka IIM um, in the adjoining city of Kolkata. It is um, not far from Dharmatala, it is near to, uh, it is very near to Kolkata. So anyone can come and see how beautiful, how big and how brilliant the temple is. And so everybody, uh, I, I request everybody to come with their friends, with their family, with their children and, and uh, all people whom they know. The, the people who are coming from abroad may also come here and to see uh, the beauty, to see the love, to see the devotion, to see the, uh, the, 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 the affection of the shathus, shanasis and bhaktas of the temple. Today, I would like to uh, tell you about Mohant Swamiji, uh, who is an ideal for the young shadhus. Actually, uh, I got uh, one book, I got actually three books from Akshanandanji. Uh, in our first meeting, he gave me three books, one uh, Pramukh Shami Maharaj, Another one is um, uh, Mohant Shami Maharaj, an epitome of saintliness, and uh, another transcendence. It was uh, written by uh, uh, Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam, our respected uh, former uh, president. Uh, okay, so let me read uh, from the book of uh, Mohant Shami Maharaj, an epitome of uh, saintliness. Right, mm, Mohant Shami, and I'm, I'm reading. Right, Mohant Shami and ideal for the young sadhus. For the newly initiated sadhus, Mohant Shami himself became a one-man training school. He was an outstanding inspirer and cultivator of bhakti, seva, katha, kirtan, renunciation, detachment and other virtues in their lives. Along with training the sadhus, he also nurtured satsanga in Mumbai, South Gujarat and other cities at the behest of Yogi Maharaj and Pramukh Shami Maharaj. Mohant Shamiji's bhakti was unique. He prepared different decorative garlands for Thakurji. He also offered and sang thals with devotion to Thakurji. He made ornate hindola and rocked Thakurji and meticulously arranged Anukut before Thakurji. He always remained engrossed in different kinds of Shiva and involved in this particular activity others too. His zeal to personally prepare fragrant and attractive garlands to honor Yogiji Maharaj was a feature of his Guru Bhakti. On festive occasions, he would prepare and send garlands with devotees for Yogiji Maharaj. For the festival of Hari Jayanti in 1969, Mohant Shami and several sadhus stayed up late in the night to make a garland. He sent the 6 feet long and 15 kg garland with the devotees of Mumbai who were traveling to Gondal by plane. You just imagine a 15 kg garland with six feet long was prepared by Shamiji and some other bhaktas and some other uh, shamis. Jogiji Maharaj offered the garland to the murti of Ghansham Maharaj and praised, quote, Oh, what devotion Mohant Shami has. He prepared it in one hour and sent it here by plane. If five Dandvats were offered to each of the flowers, it would not suffice." Unquote. And then Yogiji Maharaj offered Dandvats to Ghansham Maharaj adorned with that garland. This was one of the examples, one of many examples of his devotion to Thakurji. With this, I would like to conclude here. Joyce. Joy Shamiran, Joy Shamiran, Joy Shamiran.